Welcome to Board Game Empire. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Feed and the Curse. It's 60 minutes, 13 plus, 1 to 4 players. And so we'll do the unboxing. So first let's get the seal off. Make sure I don't cut my uh, table. So I really like the design. This is uh, up my alley. And so I will move this. Probably need to open cards. It says 90 minutes here, but and the bottom it says 60 minutes. So, so one of them is uh, the accurate timeline. Okay, let's break this seal. Okay, this is uh, quite tight, obviously. I might have to go this way. Wow, I've never had this much issues with a box. There we go. All right, let's put this right here. Make sure we have enough room. So first thing we see is this right here. It's pretty cool. It reminds me of a, kind of like a comic strip. Um, I used to collect a lot of comics. So currently I'm selling a lot of my comics on eBay to fund my uh, board game habit now. So. Here we have the rule book. And so, game overview, objective. Here's a uh, game design, creative director, artist, graphic design, miniature design, layout, play testers. I think that's pretty cool that they uh, get the information of the play testers. Here we have the box content. So you have upgrade cards, Curse encounters, artifact cards and tokens, encounter cards, character cards, character boards, 25 store cards, color cubes, 14 wanted bounties, 40 job cards, 4 unwanted bounties, 4 monster figures, 1 game board, 4 character figures, 60 water tokens, and a uh, first player marker. You have your set. Uh, board and components, select characters, set up your characters, set up your characters, weapon proficiency, unique actions, uh, pushing your luck with curse, getting critically wounded, and here we have is the character cards. So here's your actions, penalties, encounter decks, most wanted bounties, job deck. Wine and Bounties, Store Deck, Artifacts, Begin Play, General Rules, just the Gameplay, Phase of Play, Improvised Phase, Encounter Phase, Outside of San Andreas, Inside of San Andreas, Visiting the Job Board, Job Cards, You have your Money Reward, Great reward, job name, job requirement, job cards. Shop in the store. So you have your card cost, card name, effect, storage location, your movement, your movement, curse, attack, and health. It's your action phase. Available actions, recover artifact, encounter. Action face defeat a bounty. Set up a monster figure. Action face rob another player. Take your character action camp. Clean up face discard redraw. Monster movement pass the first player token. 
and then the game. The game ends when it, any of the following occurs. And the game scoring, Matt Pletchen. Solo Variants, Curse Chaser, The Dark Arts, Operating in the Shadows, Cooperative, Fats, where are the rest of starting cards? Here we have a barcode, card references, and quick reference. So your round sequence, improvise, encounter, action phase, cleanup phase, iconography, attack movement, bullet, health, curse, money, grit, trash card, draw card, buy bullet. Here we have upgrade prices, buy bullet, increase bullet maximum, increase curse threshold, increase health. So that's the rule book. Here we have some of the components. So for that, very impressed with the component quality. Here we try to get the, okay. So we have here the game board. It's quite big. So I'll just have to show it in pieces. Trying to make sure I don't split the pieces apart. Okay. Make sure. And all right, let's do this. Okay, over here we have the encounters. One, two, three, four. Most wanted. One, two, three, four. We have icons. Bullets, movements, health, curse, attack, money. Okay, let's move this more to the center now. Okay, so we have, uh, looks like we have a track here. We have a location, expedition, recurse, hangman's tree. I don't know if you can see that. We have ruins of Pelicu Mountain View. Here we have jobs, one, two, and we have wanted, one, two, three, four. We have buy a bullet, increase bullet capacity, increase curse threshold, and increase health. We have uh, store, one, two, three, four, five. And so I'm just gonna see if there's a, okay, there's a different map in the back. Let's flip this this way. We'll do this this way. It's one thing, this map is uh, quite big, so you need to make sure you have the table space. Okay, so similar setup. So you have your four, your four wanted, your icons, you have your locations in the center, your track, and then you have your same thing, jobs, wanted, bullets increase, and your store. So five. So we'll place this aside. Okay. We have cards. Let's see how many decks we have. So we have three decks. Here we have a little one. We have some sleeves. We have some uh, tokens. Or we have a black. These are little wood pieces. A red. A purple. Let me try to get it. A gray. Okay, so let me put 
this down here. Here we have some uh, little pieces. We have brown or yellow, black, purple, brown, red, and blue. Okay, so I'm quickly put this in here. We have uh, pieces here. So we have uh, yellow, brown, red, and blue. And then we have the characters. Let's get all of them out. Here we have this character. So that's one. Here's another character. If I was into painting characters, this definitely would be a, something I would be doing. There we are, another one. Another character. Here we have another one. Another one. And last one. All right. Uh, oh, here we have another little deck. So let me put all these back in here real quick. Don't want to bend them. Okay. Got all the characters in there. Here we have stickers. And we have a little player. Let's open this. And then we'll open some of the uh, cards. So each one looks like each character has a their own. And as you can tell, this one has four. This one has five. This one has three health. Two health, three bullets, two, and so, and you notice that these are different locations. So, these are the bottom, they're all the same. The character's name's on top. So, let's see for now. The back is just plain white. So we'll put this back in the, the sleeve and then we'll Okay. Next we're gonna do is uh, some of the cards. They do have the where you easily do it, but I just would rather do it this way and try to search for it. So you see, cut it open or open it. OK. 
Okay, so we're gonna go through the, all the cards. We have dark arts on the plan B. Path and alignment, throw and shoot, quick reflexes, morales, berserk, call to darkness, jack of all trades, cursed. Survivor, Treasure Hunter, Expert Tracker, For Hire, Cursed, Buffalo Soldier, Train Robber, Moved by Faith, Scavenge, Cursed, uh, Resourceful, Resilient, Boomerang, Feisty, Scavenge, Cursed, Persian Movement, Leaving the Past Behind, Personal Guard, Swordmaster, King of All Money, and Fearless Pursuit. Okay, so we're going to go to the next one. We have... See, one, two, three, four. Four more decks to go through. So, if you wanna see each one, just uh, continue watching. Okay, so we have Murder of Crows. My name is Hazel. It's a wicked world. The Rattlers, the exclusive. Tracked, I don't know how to say that. Mysterious Cave, Go North, Crow South, The Hangman. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through each one because we'll be here all day if I name each one. So you can see the image. And here we have uh, Desert Runes Canyons. I don't know what that indicates. So I'll just go through real quick. And as you notice, each one has a different information. So I could tell by the little icons. Go through each one. Okay, reward. Looks like a little, these are the bounties. I really enjoy the image. Okay, we'll do the next one. Now, uh, if there's something else you would like to see in the video that I missed, just tell me and uh, try to get into it with uh, how to play and uh, playthrough or if there's any questions here we have sprint uppercut supernatural speed hired gun treasure hunting dodge and punch oops gallop Blessing, Snatch, Arm Robbery, Train Heist, and Wicked World. Okay, two more. And they would be completed with the unboxing. Wow, this might be a little bit difficult to get open. Um, let's see how we're going to do this. That kind of cards. Or can myself. Okay, I think I did it. Ah. 
I'll try, I try not to ruin the cards by cutting them. Okay, these are very tiny. So, farmhand, post officer, tour guide, apprentice, con man, curse, crew, or crow, gunslinger. Okay, let me put these down. Rifleman. Executioner. Survivor. Harden. Infamous. Believer. This is Camp and Desert. Camp and Canyon. Camp and Ruins. I don't know what that says. Ruins of something. Hangman's Tree. Springs. Taskmaster. Yeah, those cards are really small. Okay. Try open the last one. Ugh. I wish it did have a storage for the cards. I can see these bounce around. I think these might help, but can okay, we have horse? And then we have a Winchester rifle, boots, red potion, torch, shotgun, knife, Hat, Gatling gun, Colt Walker, Revolver, Soul of the Majave, a belt, harmonica, and jacket. So, I'm guessing those are items you could buy in the store. And so pretty much, I believe that's everything that's in the box. And so hope you like the unboxing of uh, The Fiend the Cursed. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. My social media is down below. And see you in the next video.